Welcome to Food Talk with Sharon. Today I'm going to show you the recipe of a chicken and cheese crepe. Now this is a snack which can be served as part of tiffin boxes for your evening snack and it's a great option to serve during the iftar time as well. These are crepes with a delicious chicken filling and some cheese added to it. So let's quickly check out the recipe. But before we do that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please do click that tiny bell icon and turn on all notifications. For making these chicken cheese crepes, let's prepare the filling first. So for the filling, into a kadai, heat some oil, add some finely chopped garlic cloves into this. Once this starts changing color, add in the dry masalas. So in goes some coriander powder, chili powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder, garam masala powder, pepper powder and salt. Just saute this for a couple of seconds till it's fragrant and then add in the boneless chicken pieces. You can cut the chicken into small pieces and cook it on high flame. Let the masalas coat the chicken properly and once the chicken is cooked, add in some chopped onion, tomato ketchup and a little bit of vinegar. Mix this all properly till most of the excess liquid is evaporated as well. The filling for the crepes is ready now, so let's prepare the batter. So I'm using an eggless recipe. You can always use a regular crepe recipe as well. Into a bowl, add some all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, a little bit of oil and milk. Along with this, also add a little water and whisk this all properly. Add more water as needed to make it into a thin batter. Now let's first cook the crepes. So for cooking the crepes, you don't have to cook it on both sides. You just have to cook it on one side and once the top is dry, just remove it onto a plate or a cutting board. Once all the crepes are cooked, Let's start filling these. To fill these crepes, make a cut like this till the center. Spread some mayonnaise onto half of the crepe. Add the chicken filling in quarter portion. And top this up with some grated cheese. So you can use mozzarella cheese or even regular processed cheese. And then fold it starting with the cut edge into a triangular shape. Repeat this for all the remaining crepes and then you just have to pan fry this once again. So use a little bit of oil and then just pan fry it till both sides have a nice brown color to it. The best part of this recipe is that you can fill this and then keep it refrigerated. So it stays good for a day or two in the fridge and whenever you want to make it, you can just pan fry it and serve it hot. So I hope you've liked this recipe and will certainly try it out. Mm -hmm.